In this video, I will talk about the biggest highway that will connect China and Afghanistan. China and Afghanistan, two countries with rich history and culture, are connected through this strategic highway. This road, which is known as the renewal and modernization of the historical Silk Road, provides a new trade between the east and the west of the world. From the mountainous areas of Badakhshan province to access to the Chinese market and the development of tourism in the Wakhan National Park, this project offers countless opportunities to Afghanistan and the surrounding areas. Increasing employment, economic development, and strengthening regional connections are only part of the positive effects of this great project. Also, this historical road keeps the silk heritage alive and opens up the world of Tarabai. This story shows us how this strategic project helps to develop and connect two countries and different regions of the world and provides us with a world of gifts and opportunities. China is located in the east of Afghanistan, and it has a common border with Afghanistan for almost 65 kilometers, which connects Badakhshan province with China's Xinjiang province and the cities of Kashgar, Farmai, Sheikh Hanza, Kash, and Urumqi. The length of the Faizabad road to the border of China, which connects to the Tashgarg Han district of China, is approximately 495 kilometers, and it passes through border heights of 5,000 meters above sea level. Faizabad China Highway, which is the renewal and modernization of the historical Silk Road, which for several centuries facilitated trade between China other Asian countries, and Europe, and connected the east and west of the world. Faizabad Barak Road, which is approximately 47 kilometers long, has been working on this side since 2012, and it is likely that the work has been completed. Barak Ashkashim Road, which is nearly 110 kilometers long, 9 meters wide, and 2 meters long, consists of shoulders on both sides of the road. This road extends from Baharak, Warduj, and Zibak districts of Badakhshan province to Ashkashim district on the border of Tajikistan, and the cost of this project is $98 million. Ashkashim to the villages of Patakh, Chihil Khand, and Sarhad, which is 235 kilometers long, currently has a road and a motor road. The road Sarhad and Forty Kande to the Chinese border is near the Chakmaktan Lake, which passes through the villages of Langar, Kasht Water, and Baz Gonbad, and is approximately 38 kilometers from the Chakmakatin Lake to the country of China by crossing the pass at a height of 5,000 meters with the country. China is connected. The gravel road between China and Afghanistan, 50 kilometers long, from Gomba area of Pamir Badakhshan, to the end of Wakhan district of Badakhshan province was started during Ghani's rule, which is almost close to the border of China, and its construction had progressed to a prox. But at the moment, there are no new details of this project. This road was supposed to be built at a cost of 369 million Afghani, and this road is a part of the Wakhan corridor. And currently, the plan to build this road is in the form of gravel, and then it will be paved in a basic way. The Wakhan route is not only important for the ease of doing business, but also for tourists who want to visit the Wakhan National Park. By creating this highway, Badakhshan in particular, and Afghanistan in general, will be connected to the world's largest and cheapest market, China, easily and from a very short distance. This highway enables Afghanistan to increase its trade with China and facilitate the export of Afghan products, which are needed by China industrial raw materials, and other agricultural products of Afghanistan, which itself causes rapid economic growth in the country and enables sustainable economic development. With the creation of this highway, thousands of new jobs will be created directly and indirectly, and the field of work and increase in economic income will be provided quickly. This highway allows the people of remote and border areas of Badakhshan to benefit from access to work, roads, electricity, clinics, and other basic facilities of life and have access to a standard life. Thousands of unemployed people who are either looking for work in neighboring countries, accepting risky tasks in the country's insecure provinces, or are in danger of being recruited by armed and rebel groups, will gain access to work and will work for the development of the country and Badakhshan.
Originally, Wakhan is a mountainous region of the Badakhshan district of Afghanistan, which is located in the heart of Central Asia and in the northeast of Afghanistan, between the Pamir Mountains from the north, the Karakoram Mountains from the south, and the Hindu Kush Mountains from the west. This area, called the Corridor or the Wakhan region, is a narrow strip of Afghan soil that stretches from west to east and has assumed the status of a bridge between South Asia and Central Asia. The AMU River and the Wakhan River originate from this corridor, and in this part, Afghanistan has a 65-kilometer official, non-disputed and accepted border with China. For the construction of this road, China has prepared a plan worth $1,000 billion for its imports and exports in order to become the world's superpower. And through this plan, it wants to put 60 countries under its economic and geopolitical influence. With the construction of this road, domestic and foreign tourists will visit beautiful Wakhan district and the income will increase. On the other hand, a transit route will be opened with China which will make it easy to transfer Afghan products to Chinese markets. Wakhan is a mountainous area in Badakhshan that previously had no access to vehicles. But now, a gravel road has been built to be essentially asphalt in the future and a transit route with China. This province shares borders with China, Tajikistan, and Pakistan. Also, this province has a special economic, political, and military importance with its geographical situation and has potential capacities for the growth of Afghanistan's economy, especially for this province itself. The creation of a connecting highway between Afghanistan and China through Badakhshan province is known as a strategic and historical project with very wide economic, social, and geographical effects. This project not only provides access to the Chinese market for Afghanistan, but also preserves and strengthens the historical position of historical silk, develops tourism in the region, creates employment and increases income, and strengthens regional connections. This project offers new opportunities not only to Afghanistan and China, but also to the entire region as a whole, and can contribute to the development and sustainable economic and social progress of these regions. The Mattress of Your Watch. Please subscribe to this channel Bye until the next video.